Um, pretty much on September 11th, um, I remember I was, I think I was, I was, I was out on a hall pass to go to the restroom, <laughs> and um, I was walking back to my class, and um, somebody had passed by me in the uh, in the commons area where we just hang out, and they were like, the trade center went down, the trade center went down, or it got hit, and I was like, whatever, you know, I didn't, I didn't really uh, believe them, and so like I shrugged it off and like whatever, you're you're stupid. And then um, we went to homeroom, and they turned the news on. We were already in homeroom, and I was going back, and um, I was in Mr. Cook's class. I was in seventh grade <laughs> at Floyd Central, and um, they turned it on, and sure enough, you know, they sh they showed the images of the plane in the tower, and it was just uh, it was pretty surreal looking at something like that, um, and I, like thinking back to Pearl Harbor and and whatnot, living, living through, um, you know, a tragedy, you mm -hmm. know, a terrorist attack. And um, it was just pretty, a surreal feeling. And then when um, I remember just sitting, sitting in my desk, just looking at it, like, just kind of like, I don't know, I didn't really didn't know what to think. I was kind of immature at the time because of my age. I was in seventh grade, so like I didn't fully comprehend what was going on. And um, all the details started leaking out, and then all of a sudden, what was it, like at 9.08, I think the first tower went down, and um, it's really hit me then. It was, it was pretty wild. It made me feel sad, for sure. You know, that's, that's the first motion, just thinking of all the, all the people, firefighters and, you know, all the employees, everything, everybody in the towers and the surrounding buildings and the families. Um, just thinking about that really made me sad, and um, of course thinking about, you know, why, why would somebody do this? You know, never having lived through something like this before was really confusing. Like, why would anybody need to do this? You know, what, what, what point, what point do you have to prove that is worth killing, you know, two thousand people? You know, and and I guess that you know it was really confusing. We were in school, just sitting there, and another teacher came in. You could tell they were upset, and then uh, our teacher turned the TV on, and apparently an airplane had ran into some building I'd never heard of in New York. Um, we just kind of thought it was an accident at first until we saw the other plane hit the other building right next to it, and you could tell that it wasn't an accident. And so nobody really knew what was going on. You know, we just kind of sat there watching TV. And uh, eventually they just turned the TV off and tried to resume going back to the normal for the rest of the school day. But, you know, you can't really focus too much when you just saw something like that. And uh, even whenever I went home, I was I turned on the news and just watched and tried to figure out what happened and uh, I don't know people were just that's all people talked about for days and weeks you know I was 11 I didn't know how anything was going to turn out I was scared that it was going to be you know World War 3 and luckily it didn't quite come to that but you know for an 11 year old that's a pretty scary thought